Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, it's Saturday. That means it's another restaurant vlog. Yay, I'm hungry, are you? So when I got up this morning, I didn't really know where it was I wanted to go, but I figured I'd figure it out when I got up. Uh, turns out I was reading the comments from the last 12 or so hours on the videos and somebody uh, commented on my Casa del Castillo video from last week that, uh, that I ought to check out Papa Rolo's Pizza. And that sounds really good. I love pizza to begin with. And I've driven back and forth past that place a whole bunch of times and meant to go there. So today we're going to do that. Let's go to Papa Rolo's Pizza. Roland Duty started working at Pepe's Pizza in 1964 while he was a student at Baylor University. Located in Waco, Pepe's Pizza was owned by Waco businessman E.M. Stinson. In 1969, Roland purchased two Pepe's Pizza restaurants while still attending Baylor part-time. Located near Baylor University and the Golden Triangle, Roland changed the name to Papa Rolo's Pizza in August of 1969. In 1979, the Golden Triangle Shopping Center was torn down to make room for business growth on Valley Mills Drive, and Papa Rolo's Pizza moved to its current location, and is still located there. The business grew, and in less than 10 years, had more than tripled the size. The Waco restaurant occupies more than 11,000 square feet and can seat more than 500 friendly faces. Drawing inspiration from the artisan heritage of the family business, Justin Duty, Roland's son, opened a new Papa Rolo's Pizza location in May of 2015. Committed to the same principles for 46 years, quality food served in a fun atmosphere, both locations are worth a visit. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. All right, this is awesome. I was walking out the door to go to Papa Rolo's Pizza, and this was in the mailbox. Apparently, Disney has decided that the reason I left the company is that I have retired. That I didn't leave them because I was disgruntled or anything. I just left them because I'm retiring. And as a retiree of the Disney Corporation, since I've been there for longer than 10 years, I'm entitled to a retirement gift. And I have a choice. I can choose a woman's watch, a man's watch, a clock, or crystal ears. And they give you a website to go on to choose what you want. And so I went over there just to take a look and see what these gifts were. Let's go look at that. Now obviously the woman's watch is out of the question. And even the men's watch is out of the question because I don't really wear watches anymore. But I was looking at the clock. Which is actually really nice. And it's engraved. I guess I get to put, out, put on it whatever I want. But I don't actually think I'm gonna go with that one. Instead, I think I'm gonna go with the crystal ears because they're kind of cool too. Apparently that's like three inches tall and six inches across, so that's pretty cool. You think they'll engrave it with escaping the mouse for me? Or am I just gonna have to put my name on it? That would be pretty cool to have. All right, we are here, and this is out in front, so this is kind of cool. Kind of old-style fire truck. Looks like they're trying to re repaint it a little bit, make it uh, look better. It looks like it's been out here for a long time. Probably since 1969, huh? Even Albert Einstein likes pizza. Guess that's just more proof that he was the smartest man in the world. Ben Franklin, too. Loving their pizza. Wow, people throughout history love their pizza. Very cool. And check out this mural on the side. One of the things they advertised in there is that they show like endless reruns of like uh, the Three Stooges and Our Gang and that. So they obviously have a, uh, a very tight connection with like uh, old uh, entertainment. And on the uh, drive-through sign, or on the drive-in sign, they're showing the Ten Commandments. Very cool. Let's go see if the food is as good as the artwork. Boy, they weren't kidding about the uh, Our Gang videos running around in here. There you go, that's it right now. So I think I'm gonna go with the wings, and of course you know me, I'm gonna make them hot. I can't resist something that says it'll bite me back. And I'm gonna get the Rolo's Pizza Special. 
So I really like some of the decorations on the wall here. Dr. Pepper, 10 4 We know what that means now. Check out the merchandise that's available. Really going on with this tie-dye theme. Hmm. Or Baylor. Guess we got a vintage menu here from 1970. So they said on the website you might want to be prepared to wait a little bit to get your pizza because uh, they spent a lot of time preparing it and getting it just right. So uh, I wasn't really terribly surprised. However, the wings have arrived and they look fantastic. So I made quick work of those wings. They were good, nice and spicy, always like that. And while that was, while I was consuming these, this thing arrived. Check that out. Now you know why it takes a little longer to prepare it. Now I knew from the beginning I wasn't gonna be able to make it through all of that. That was a medium pizza and eight buffalo wings. So the beauty is pizza is something you can take home with you and it's just as good later on. Well, I think I've made it through about as much of that as I'm going to in one sitting. So we're going to ask for a box to take the rest of that home. Looks like there's at least two more meals in there. So in addition to all that, then you come over to this side of the place and they got the kids, kids place with all the arcade stuff. This is just like Chuck E. Cheese. Very cool place. And they run our gang for the adults and SpongeBob for the kids. Final verdict on Papa Rolo's pizza, very good. It's a little bit pricey for a pizza place, but when you factor in the how much food you got and the fact that I'm actually gonna get three meals on it, uh, it's uh, definitely a good value for the money. Uh, I am full and I brought half, more than half that pizza home with me, so I got two more meals out of that easily. So yeah, definitely recommend Papa Rolo's pizza. You should come check this place out. So I hope you enjoyed Papa Rolo's pizza. It was really, really good. Um, that's, I think, the first time I've ever had a pizza that had so much stuff on top of it that you actually had to worry about stuff falling off the side when you pick it up. But that made it a really, really good pizza. Um, you know, everything I love about pizza was in that. So I highly recommend Papa Rolo's pizza. If you're ever in Waco, they got two of them. Uh, I, my understanding is one of them is run by... The guy who originally started the place, the other is run by his son. They're just about five miles apart, so you ought to be able to find them easily uh, online. So I think that's all I really have to talk about today. So thank you as always for watching, and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.